Black and a Half, episode number 210. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Black and a Half, the longest running comedy podcast in Seattle. Probably. Welcome. Today is a great episode. It's the first episode of 2023. I don't know when you're listening to this, maybe in 2024 or 2029. Who knows how far you went back to catch the next episode of Black and a Half. Today, I have an interview. This is going to be a shorter episode than a lot of the previous episodes we've had. This is what I'm starting to call the seven questions episodes. You've heard us ask the seven questions at the end of a lot of our talks, and I wanted to have more of those. Those fascinate me. I like finding out the joy that people have in their life, and that's what I think the seven questions boil down to. I think you could take the seven questions and really really uh, find out what someone is really into, what, what you could give them for Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or the birthday, whatever. I think we find out and, 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 and distill the different joys they have in their life. And that's what we're doing here now on these seven questions episodes. So episode 210 is a seven questions with our guest, Anthony Calderon. Anthony is a former stand up comedian in Seattle. He moved to LA a number of years ago. He does stand up down there occasionally, is my understanding, but his big focus of the last couple of years has been a commercial actor. He recently was in a big KFC commercial that everybody saw everywhere. And it's been nice to see him popping up here and there on national commercials. And I know he does a lot locally. And so I wanted to catch up with him. He was one of the first people I met doing stand-up comedy 11, 12 years ago when I started. And he he he's always been a nice guy, always been great. He was a guest on another podcast I had done years ago. And so I wanted to finally get him on here because I never asked him the seven questions. It was long before that and before I really got to know him. And the fact is that there's... I want pe- I want to know the seven questions of everybody. If they haven't if they haven't been asked before, I'm having them back on to ask them the black and a half world famous seven questions. So, yeah, that's this episode. I want to give a shout out though to our uh Patreon supporters, uh, uh Stephen Ward, Keith Nagel, uh Tara Widener, Weidner, never never get it right. Those are those are the those are our upper echelon members of the, the inner circle members. You too can become a, a member of the League of Extraordinary Listeners if you go to patreon.com forward slash black and a half. And for as little as one dollar a month, you join that inner circle. You join sorry, you join the League of Extraordinary Listeners for a little bit more each month. You can become an inner circle member, which means you're you're really helping us out. You're really helping make these episodes happen and bring them forth. I already got, got two more episodes already filmed, recorded, ready to go. So I'll be dropping, dropping them like it's hot here in 2023. So anyway, thank you so much. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're watching this on YouTube, which we're getting all the episodes now out on YouTube from here forward and the TikToks, I don't know. I don't know what my TikTok handle is going to be for that, but it's we're getting content out everywhere. You got to do it. It's 2023. If you don't have content, you don't have anything. And we got it here today. And here we go. Episode number 210, seven questions with Anthony Calderon. Stand by to receive our transmission. Stand by to receive our transmission. Anthony Calderon, it's been forever. How are you doing? How are you? I'm well, sir. How are you, my friend? Uh, good. I, 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 as well as the rest of Seattle, has enjoyed 
seeing you yokiroing Taco Bell. Oh well, I think that's I think that's I think Spanish. That, I don't yeah, know. I think that you should do better research <laughs> on your podcast that you host. And uh, what uh, I was, uh, I was, uh, I was you were uh, a star of Taco Bell no, recently. No, no KFC. Not. Sorry, KFC. I, uh, I, I am, I am. Well, I guess they're both Yum brands, huh? It's the same. It's the same parent company. What was so the? I was, uh, yeah, I was working. I was, I was hawking, hawking chicken for the hernal, for the colonel, my friend. Oh yeah. Colonel Sanders. Okay. Yeah. Famous KFC. Famous well, bowl. I go to a KFC slash Taco Bell. Well, as you should, because to be fair, who could, who could, I uh, want a could... burrito and a chicken breast original recipe. No, dude, you got to get the, you got to get the mashed potato quesadilla, bro. Is is that the thing? Was that what you were hawking on there? No, no, the... no, no, no. It was the famous bowl. It was a famous the bowl. Famous bowl. I mean, it's got it's got a lot of the f- familiar uh, uh, quesadilla uh, uh, ingredients, but with a couple of extra added. I know, saw I saw you. I saw your audition that you posted. I that was your real right. audition, right? That was your real audition. That was my real home audition. Oh, okay. In front I love, of in front of a sheet. Did um, did you practice for the role? Did you like? Did you go and? taste some food to go like oh i need to remember how does it taste when it the crisp crispiness just hits and bursts in my mouth nope no no i so that uh, was just acting i filled this i filled a a bowl up with uh some some actually cold rice rice aroni spanish style Mm -hmm. uh and i took a few takes in the in the breakdown it said i was supposed to be looking up like i was dreaming like yeah like the words were coming out of my head like it was my inner monologue because it was a song in the in the in the spot so yeah. uh it does look a lot different in the actual like uh you know where it was you know in the actual spot i don't look like i'm a fucking complete like crazy <laughs> person uh, did did you is this the first not, I mean, I've seen you in other commercials, but did you, were you audition? were you, were you trying to do acting before, um, COVID hit? Oh yeah. I mean, before COVID hit, I mean, that was the, uh, I, that year I did 10 commercials, I think just all non-union. So they weren't like necessarily like, you know, a lot of people saw them, but you know, it was for a lot of like weird, you know, car tech companies and yeah. like, you know, meetup groups, uh, you know, tech meetup, you know, like yeah. startup stuff. So it was mostly just kind of under the radar. Was it uh, your first food one? Like, had you done food before? Yes, it was like my first food one. I always love what I like. Okay. I want to say what I love about COVID since uh-huh. COVID auditioning. I hate it. I, you did really? I, I, I like, it. cause I like that. I can actually like eat food now. Instead of just going to an audition room and pretending, so they don't have they don't have actual food for you guys up there. In when the I would go to an audition room, no, oh, I would have to pretend. Well, I mean, they'll. It's not like they have nest. Like, like I've done a lot. Like I've done auditions for like all sorts of stuff. You know, yeah. uh, uh, ice cream and uh, that kind of stuff. They won't have like ice cream in the room but they'll have you know a cone for you yeah. and they'll just throw the cone away or whatever you know what i mean yeah see because I, I never i never i didn't i didn't pursue acting at all when i was in seattle at all right right yeah and no was, i remember yeah that. i was just just doing just i mean i was just thinking of you know i was just going to be doing stand-up and then when i got out here a guy you know just from you know, hanging out, you know, like you do, you mm-hmm. know, uh, somebody was like, Oh, uh, you know, I know this agent, you know, you, he, he, I think he'd like you. And that's how that whole thing started rolling in that, you know, doing the that's, acting. Stuff. Yeah. I mean, cause I mean, I, I mean, I hope you like it better than like Postmates, right? Is it? Oh yeah, no, I yeah. like it. I like it a lot better than <laughs> yeah. mostly so, anything. <laughs> <to be honest. laughs> Everyone else writes everything for you, and when you get there, they 
give you food and oh and those big ones where you just you literally can just walk in no dude. And just like here's your clothes and just yeah we'll wait over here and we'll get you like what i did just, one, i did i did one i just i just got off of one on friday for a uh an italian women's lingerie company i could see you in that yeah <laughs> there is a celebrity in it but I can't tell you who. Yeah, no, that's uh, fine. But I play uh, an Italian paparazzo. Oh, so you're typecast, s- stealing the roles as usual. Just you know, it happens in Hollywood. Just come in there and but, start but, taking other ethnicities. What? Hey, I am. Uh, I'm. I'm Spanish. I'm. I'm Spanish. <laughs> so it's, it's all European is all regional. The right? same. Yeah. No, I mean the reason why I brought it up is just because uh they had a they had like a hot dog machine on yeah. it's the first time I've ever been on a set where there was just right. like a straight up like you know, they have craft services, which yeah. is usually like, you know, like granola bars and if you get lucky, like some full size Twix and uh, mm-hmm. you know, a, a nice chai latte. But uh this 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 lady had a full on hot dog machine hot, like a hot dog rolling machine. So it was like, I got over there at like eight in the morning. And I was like, well, I'm going to be, I'm going to have to wait around all day for this, this lady to get done with all her stuff. So I might as well have as many hot dogs as I can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, craft services, like they, then they don't pay you up here for a lot of, you know, acting, acting, acting like narrative stuff, but usually craft services are out of, out of control. Like, oh no. Great. I mean, so. I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't really work in narrative that much. Just yeah. mostly, mostly, uh, you know, just commercials. But you know, this one was like, it, I've never done one where there's been an actual celebrity. Actually, no. I actually, I lied. I did, I did one. I did an industrial. It was like for the, you know, what the upfronts are. Yeah. 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 So it was for the NBC upfront. So it was just mm-hmm. for that like presentation of like the new lineup for NBC that year. And it was uh uh John Cena and Jimmy Fallon. And nice. that was really cool. Cause yeah. both were cool. Like I got I, I my my whole thing was with John Cena. All I did was hand him an apple and say, hungry. <laughs> But we like uh, it was like a remake of that, you know, that Apple, that kind of famous Apple commercial from the 80s, like their very first commercial where it's like it's like 1984. And there's like just a bunch of people like staring at a screen, all like drones and shit. And then the lady comes in and the like super high, high pants, like the the red ones. And she has like the hammer and she like swings it around and hits the 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 screen. And then everyone's like snapped out of there. That's awesome. Yeah. You know what I'm talking no, no, about? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was an awesome commercial. It was like. No. So, yeah, no, it was just like we made that. We remade that like shot for shot with Jimmy Fallon as the lady in the red shorts. Yeah. It was freaking hilarious, dude. What did that air? <laughs> did that air nationally? What's that? Did that air nationally? No, it was just Charlie? for the upfronts. But I thought, OK, I, I feel like everything ends up on online somewhere so no, I'm like, i know i, I tried to find anywhere? it everywhere i even emailed the like the producer because i did i did like another like spot for twitter that was like just industrial like only for like their employees you know what i mean and it was yeah it wasn't even anything to really see that i like you know when i ended up seeing it i was like oh that's cool it's just like me pretending like i'm getting my hair cut smashed cut with like like you know rihanna on the red carpet you know it's just like twitter but actually now that i think about it now that elon musk owns twitter it's like all those people that i did that commercial with are all unemployed it's kind of sad to think about (laughs) those industrial i did two seasons the most i've ever gotten paid was two seasons of sort of what you would call webisodes for a little like an office parody but took place at microsoft and I mean, it's, that's all, it's awesome. only internal so yeah like <laughs> no nobody will see this it was like the funnest thing i've ever done 
here. Did, did they show it to you though? Did you ever get to see it? Yeah, yeah. No, I have the episodes. Yeah, see, copies, that's great. But... At least you get to watch it, man. I would yeah. love to see myself, me and John Cena together. <laughs> John oh, Cena. Man. I found like when my grand, <laughs> not to bring the the the, the mood down. When my grandma was dying. Yes. I found out. I found out because you know she was losing her faculties a little bit. Yeah. So she like her nurse would turn her TV on in the morning in the USA. And she would watch all of her murder shows all during the day. And then the lady w- wouldn't come in until like 10 o'clock at night to turn off her, her TV. So she would just watch wrestling. So at the age of 79, my grandma was like, she loved, she loved John Cena so much. That is hilarious. It was the last man my grandma ever <laughs> <loved her. laughs> But if you look at pictures of my grandfather from like the late fifties, actually, hold up. I've got one right here. Boom. My grandpa kind of has a little bit of a, an all American man yeah, job he does. You know, vibe about him. So, and that's my grandma right there. Did you tell him? <laughs> no, my grandpa went before her. So he, 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 Oh, did I tell John Cena? Did when you I tell saw John him? Cena? Yeah. Uh, I did about four hours after I left the set in my head. Okay. Because <laughs> isn't that how it always is? Every yeah. time you leave the set, you're like, "Fuck, I should have done that." Yeah. Anyways, so hey, Anthony, I wanted to ask you. Ask um, me. I have uh, seven questions that I ask guests. Several um, questions. Every, seven. 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 The, seven. the the black and a half world famous seven questions. Okay? World. World. Sure. Yeah, we're international. <laughs> Is this, is this um, the second time I've been on this podcast? Uh, you're on a different one. You're on a different uh, okay. one before. The one like, that we, the one that we the recorded, premiere. In your, the one that we recorded in your in your daughter's bedroom. Yes. You yeah. Stepped on several Legos. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Which, which that equates one. which equates to seven. So let's go. Several. Okay. Yeah, that's a segue. Um, okay. Number one. What are you most nerdy about? Like baseball. Baseball. Is that, has that been an all-time thing? You've always been. Uh, I mean, when I was a kid, I thought I was going to be a baseball player. So, I mean, and I love baseball. Um, and I played until I was uh, 16, uh, blew my knee out. I, you know, I don't think I really would have played that much farther after that. I was kind of, I was always kind of a, you know, a, a, a defensive guy. You know, I, I played I played center field. I was I was pretty quick on the bases, but I could not I could not hit to save my life. Uh but, but you yeah. know what do you, do so you I feel, feel like, like 90s baseball is probably my <laughs> my wheelhouse for sure. Nerd, nerd out of it. Okay. Yeah. Uh number two, what's something that you love to eat? Soup. A favorite? Is there a favorite soup, or is it? Uh, soup? well, right now there's this uh, soup spot by my house. It's called Tatsu Ramen. Uh, it's on Melrose, and actually, it's not really that close to my house. I live in East Hollywood. It's in West Hollywood. Uh, uh, and I know everybody's like keeping track at home for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Tatsu Ramen. They've got um this really good. Uh, it's basically just chicken noodle soup, but it's with ramen, and the broth is just mwah. Uh, number three, what's something that you love to drink? Uh, <laughs> doesn't have to be alcoholic. I know. I was going to say, well, what's going to make me not look so much like a lush? Um, I like actually, you know what I drink uh, often, almost every day, and I buy it almost every day. Uh, simply blueberry lemonade. Simply blueberry lemonade. It's in your grocer's freezer. It's very specific. Or you refrigerator, like I should say. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I like a good uh, a good blueberry or strawberry, maybe a raspberry lemonade. I don't know if I've ever tried the blueberry. Oh, it's. I might need to try that. You know what sucks? You know, I never tried the blueberry or the raspberry or the strawberry until COVID because <laughs> they discontinued Simply Tropical, which was my all time favorite. Was and, it a tropical lemonade? No, it was like uh, it was like uh, it's like a tropical like a, juice. It was like a tropical pineapple juice. Okay. So it was like it had some mango in there, some pineapple. 
maybe, you know, COVID took away your drink. Yeah. I mean, I haven't been able to like literally ever since COVID, ever since everybody had that run on the <laughs> first week, it's like toilet paper and fucking tropical COVID <laughs> or tropical <laughs> simply is just, uh, yeah, it's nowhere to be found. You know, it must be, it has something to do with probably distributing yeah. and, uh, uh, synergy synergy market okay. synergy makes sense. I've, I've been told by Pete Buttigieg. Yeah. Okay. Number four, what kind of music do you love? I like, uh, like, um, gr- like grun- grungy blues, grungy bluesy, like, uh, you know, Jack White, little black. Oh, okay. Keys. Really? A little, little bit of that. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, why is I that? I don't know. I, 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 I didn't think blues when I, what did you think? I don't know. I don't know. Pop or like a, you know, long hair, guitar, a lot of guitar. I mean, blues oh, has yeah, guitar, I know, you know, how fa- famous metal. Like, guitar list the blues is. <laughs> I guess I think about rock, rock, guitar, metal. I don't know. Hardcore blues. I, you know, I like, uh, you know, I liked all the, you know, fun emo stuff in high school, you know, you know, I like, uh, I play guitar a little bit, uh, and I mostly I mostly play like punk rock. So I guess like yeah, I like uh, grunge blues. Okay, if grungy, I put it grungy blues, blues. Grungy if I put, blues. If I put that I in Spotify, there's a section for that. I feel like it's kind of Jack White and you know Jack that White. that kind of okay. the the rack on tours. You know that kind of you know. I mean maybe I'm just m- making shit up, but no, I'll check. Oh, okay. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna listen. I always listen. I feel guess tell, I'm guess tell me a new thing and I look it up and sometimes I'm like blown away. I'm just like, saying, this is really I'm, cool. I'm making up an entire new genre here. Grunge blues. You're like the Jordan Peele of listening. You're the third person to say that to me. <laughs> people have people tell me that a lot. My therapy. Number, number five. What do you love to create? Um, I like to, well, well, that's kind of, a. I mean, all kinds of stuff, man. I like to, I like to, uh, I like to tell jokes. Mm -hmm. Um, I like to create, you know, like new fun characters and stuff when I'm trying to, uh, you know, work out, a uh, you know, something, you know, cause like, uh, commercial acting is like you, you, you're not really like. You don't really get to have a character necessarily, but I go in there and I got one, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, like I did one, I did a, I did a, a commercial where there, where I was on an airplane and, okay. and, and the premise was that on the screen, it was interrupted by uh, a internet, you know, like we were going to, we we're going to, we we're going to land the plane so that we could get cheaper internet. Okay. And, and no matter what the director said, I just looked confused. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> yep. I knew I was only going to be in there for a second. So I was going to use what you're going to use, man. <laughs> Did they use you? Oh, yeah, bro. I'm okay, good, good, good. <laughs> in the end, as long as they used you. Um, Internet. Number six, what's a game you love to play? Um. Do you mean like, like any kind of game board? Yeah. How, whatever a game, let's play a game or you want to play a game. What do you think of? What do you want? Um, oh, like if, uh, okay. Like if like, cause I or solo uh, a game. Yeah. Just however you take it. Like a board game or a, a, a yeah. video game, that yes. kind of game, not like, sure. a, like softball. If that's the game you love to play. I mean, I do love playing softball. I don't play video games. That's one thing about me that uh, kind of surprises people, I guess, because I'm, uh, I guess, maybe uh, a little nerdy looking. But uh, 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 yeah, I don't play video games at all. I do you do... love softball? Softball, though? Is that, is that something you baseball. love? I mean, it's baseball, right? Because it's baseball. So, yeah, I love baseball. So yeah, I go play. So- There's like a comedian's kind of softball thing that goes on. We're we're taking we're taking a hiatus for football season because Sundays are usually when we play. So okay, but we play you know we play from like February until October every Sunday most Sundays, and it's the highlight of my week usually. I uh, 
I love, oh. or, you know, ba- I like, I like playing basketball. I like shooting hoops. I know it's like super boring, but I yeah. loved softball in college. I would play, uh, we put like theater department versus another department. Oh, yeah. I oh, love yeah. those. Those are so much fun. And then I finally, uh, Mike basket got me to join his softball league. Oh and, man. That's and, amazing. And I tore my quad and then I was done. Oh, so gosh. yeah, yeah. I played with Mike once and it was like five years after I stopped playing like little league. Yeah. I remember I, I was playing right field and I five the, years after little league or yeah, little, in high school. Little, <laughs> yeah, high school, high school. So I mean, I was like 21. Okay. I was like 20, oh, okay. Okay. I was like 21 or 22. But it, I'd been, I hadn't played in forever. And and uh <clears throat> I don't know if you know this about me, Silas, but I have a cannon yeah. for an arm. Okay. Yeah, I uh, mean, I, I mean, obviously. I, I know stood out. But I hadn't thrown a I hadn't thrown a ball in a really long time. And I was like in right field and I got I let it go behind me and I threw it. I tried to throw it to third base and I sailed it all the way over the backstop behind third base into the mm-hmm. next field. Oh. It was uh, uh we we had we got like 10 run, I guess is the, <laughs> the Murphy rule. That we, How many we people do you have on base? <laughs> I mean, I don't it, that wasn't I mean that I was part of our loss. That was the limit. That wasn't okay. the last play of okay. the game. I was like, they can't get 10 runs on one. Okay, throw. No, no, it was, yeah. Okay, last question. Six in and one, a half. Six and number a half. Number seven. Completely flaccid. In 100 years, <laughs> when someone reads your biography, what do you want to be remembered for? Uh, just, just a nice, fun guy. <laughs> just a, a pleasant person to be around. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't think I'll, you know, there are people who, you know, I watched it's a mad, 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 mad world for the first time yesterday. Yeah. Long. Wow. It's been a and while. Those, I had to, I had to like, look all those people up and all of those people are like the most famous people <laughs> of that time. ever in the history of time. So at a certain point, right, unless you're Jesus or fucking Muhammad or, you know, you know, unless you have some sort of, you know, or L. Ron Hubbard, uh, unless you have some, uh, unless I write some sort of like, you know, uh, uh, infinite jest situation, I don't think it's going to even fucking matter. <laughs> that should go on your tombstone. It isn't even it or it doesn't it even doesn't fucking matter. matter yeah I think yeah so. i like that actually <laughs> i like that also it really doesn't <laughs> oh man okay well hey anthony it was awesome catching up with you Hi, uh, thank wait, you for wait, hold on before we what? go yes when i moved here i when i first got my agent he told me to send me a resume and yeah. and i i didn't know what to do so I emailed you. Yeah. And you sent me yours and I just copy pasted yours and just did all my stuff in there. And uh so thank you. I still use that resume. So look at you. Oh. You're you're oh my you, God. maybe I you should forget the effects that I had. Yeah. Effects I had. Do you have management? Uh no, just an agent, but an agent? Okay. I, I, I don't seek management at this point. I don't think I need uh, <laughs> No, yeah, you're probably okay right now. As long as uh I keep booking these uh Yeah. Italian keep on booking. Italian women's underwear commercials. Italian I'm, KFC Taco Bell commercials. I'm in the I well I'll I I I I hope I don't know how it works, but I I I, I have to join the union now after last week. So wow. we'll see. I guess I think they send me paperwork and then i signed my life away so yeah but I hey did, me too dental you're doing enough work you probably can yeah i'm hoping I, I couldn't uh i had to i'm one of the i'm in seattle so i had to do Whoa. the i slipped down to the ficor but you know I, uh, you know i i, 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 I was in la i wouldn't i but I, I somehow escaped seattle with no children so uh, yeah. 
That was me. Well, that hey, you know, you. that you know of. Yeah. Silas, I love you. Thank you for having me on your show, buddy. Thanks for coming on. Hey, anytime. Tell everyone up there I love them. I will. Each one individually. Aaron, Manny, Amani, uh, uh, Rick, Chris. I like Shit. how you say Aaron. I wish like, that I didn't. I wish that like I, there's Aaron, only one. Aaron like There's only one. There's oh, only Aaron, one okay. Aaron. There's only there's, one Aaron Engel. Well, Aaron Engel, but there's a bunch of Aarons probably. Well, yeah, probably. And the minute I started naming names, I was like, oh, God. So, like, oh, You'll no leave one, someone out. No one's going to give a shit. Uh, Ever, <laughs> Everham, Chris, uh, Chris Moran. Uh, <laughs> all Chris's. Yeah. Did I say Manny? All, Manny. All, all Jason's. Uh, uh, Dylan. Okay. Dylan Dylan. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll tell him. We'll I'll edit. See what, we'll I'll, edit see which one, I'll see which ones are alive. Edit, okay. edit your voice into all the ones that I forgot. Okay, sure. So like, you could do like one, like do one that I did, and then do one, like go back and forth. So it yeah. kind of, like, you can mix it. Yeah. You know, I'll definitely do that. Thank you, Silas. I'll definitely. And then I could sure. always count on you, bud. <laughs> Black and a half. Live long, live long, and prosper, and prosper, and prosper.